Hey guys, it's Val. Today we are going to be starting a new series. It's called This Bed We Made. It's set in the 1950s and we're going to be playing as a maid who is checking all the guest rooms while she's doing her tasks and putting together some pieces about a crime that we need to solve. So yeah, let's check it out. The game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fate of others around you. Proceed with caution. Oh God. Oh, is that me? Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. Okay. I'm Sophie. Am I in trouble, officer? Join the Montreal police force. Inquire at your local police station. It's on your right. Here. We got like a little pinup girl calendar. Okay. Oh, there's another maid being questioned. Okay. Uh, it's weird. It won't let me turn my camera very far. This one? Nope. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we okay. are. Sorry, I was being a little nosy there. Good luck. Thank you. She's all yours, sir. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Let's see. Why do I feel like a suspect? Working at the Clarington for over. So I was tampering with evidence. Husband? I'm sorry? Are you married? No, not yet. I live with my mother. No, I'm She's single, sick, officer. So I have to take care of her. No father. No. It's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. I need you to tell me everything that happened, starting with this morning. La fontaine, les filles s'en vont et s'y promènent au bras des garçons qui les entraînent au cœur des buissons où elles étreignent l'amour en saison qui les enchaîne dans un tourbillon de vrai poème car dans les frissons naissent toujours les plus belles chansons d'amour au clair. Documents okay. done. Now, now just I can turn. And I can go on break. Let's make the bed. Wow, I'm really going to be putting in some work. <sighs> Nothing like a well made bed. Look at this damn stain. Can't ever get that clean. Good enough. Good enough, honey. Ooh. That's a lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 49. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible in letting you know that you're down to your last chance. The 8,300 you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. My patience is worn thin. This isn't like one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help and help always comes at a price. Damn, this guy's threatening us? Who is this? We've opened our pockets to you time and time again and all you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and generosity. We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. I'll be bringing along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't too good with words. Damn. Hmm. Are you in town for a okay. trip, baby? Can we turn that off? That's right. Mm. Okay. Got little stuffed animals? I'm guessing you've seen better days. But you're obviously still important to someone. 
Oh, his head jiggles. Okay. Another letter. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mapleson, regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communication, our client and your neighbor, the owner of 88 32nd Street, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts, specifically an amount owed to us to the sum of $1,900. He has given us little recourse but to contact him through those in close physical proximity to him in the hopes that we can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be greatly appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. Kindly Lucky Coin Financing. You brought your own mug? Well, I guess Aww. ours aren't quite as complimentary. That's cute. Damn, I am so nosy. Of course I opened all those and, you know, nothing was in there. Let's clean that. Well, let me clean that, okay. Oh, there's even like that rubbery sound. And voila. Nice. No trash. Okay. Yeah, I think this is probably as good as I can leave it. What is that? Oh, it's one of those, what is it? Shoehorns or whatever? Um, yeah, so let's go. I should put the pillow on the bed. Oh, I'm not carrying it carrying around. It? You're right, you're right. Place pillow, yeah. All right, we're done. So that was 504 with the family who owes a lot of money to a lot of people. And we lock the door, so that's good, right? she has any real friends or is it just Gracie Joan and Marilyn well when your own life is that dull you need to get your excitement somewhere <laughs> wow oh, Yvette and Susan hmm. maybe they'll be murdered now don't you think you're overreacting this is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about <laughs> Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. Now I realize I've Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my keys. So it looks like there is a romance going on too. Oh, I can hear her thoughts. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Tempting, but every I'm penny just adds looking. up. So oh, shock. Leaving luggage in the lobby? Are you trying to get Bernard to kill you? Mm -hmm. This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Oh, is it like Valentine's? Oh, how appropriate. Hey, Beth. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone, so I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, yeah, no. It's Jacques and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Ah. Uh, you, you said, said you needed, needed me? me? Oh, 
Straight to business, then. Sorry, I don't want to talk about that. It's just them. a busy day. I get it. It's been non-stop for me this morning, too. Want to guess why I summoned you here? I'm something to clean? there's something I have to clean. Obviously. But what is it? Uh, did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. While I was cleaning, some of it got... Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. No kidding. Keep talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. What That's a little it. shit! I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, mm -hmm. I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. I like her. What is this? Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. <laughs> Say no to divorce. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests absolutely love her and... <laughs> Not just guests, apparently. Oh, God damn it, Linda! I only like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is uh -huh. my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether I'm happy. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Is that a shock? Oh, no. Oh, Andrew, There's so many people. Hi. Oh, my gosh. I, I was... I mean... I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I I heard something, and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm... I'm sorry I scared you. I'm just... I, I'm not used to having people around me while I work. Yeah, you're always working alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell, so I had to take over. What happened? Did it crying. really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but for those sober around them, that's another story. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Ah, something about you. I'll just say... It's something a bit gross. gross. Oh. I hope it's got nothing to do with bodily functions. God. I hope so, too. A few uh weeks ago, I walked into a room and found the trash can filled with cucumbers. Like whole cucumbers and some of them were carved and I threw the whole trash can out that day. Don't tell Bernard. I won't. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I uh I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to um Yeah. yeah all right. Take care. You too. As if it wasn't enough having to deal with Oh, do you like him? You like the carrot top? Okay, this is our um closet, I think, with the mop in it. Ew. I better throw that away. A film roll. Hmm. Guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him. Or keep it. Uh, I don't. How do I pick it? Oh. 
Okay. Oh, this is satisfying. I had no idea. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to put the mop up? Yes. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do. But sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. Should we tell but... Mr. Spade? I don't know. No, that's very unlikely. So, which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Well, you're welcome to speak to my manager if you'd like. Ooh. I'm sure he'll be... Okay. To talk to you. He doesn't have a phone. Spade, a it's their first time phone. here and they're in 505. Let's put our mop back. What the hell is that? Oh, she said it's a leak. I can't clean that because it'll just, it's fine. I don't think we should return the film roll. Hold it, please. Andrew, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, <sighs> I slipped oh, on the puddle I'm by the sorry, restrooms. Andrew. I got an oh, achievement for not cleaning I, I the puddle. I probably should have cleaned that. Oh, no, no. It, it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the That's leak. right. You should have. Which floor? Well, oh, now uh, he's damaged, so he can't save us, I'm sure, later on. Jesus. I dodged the puddle? What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Why does he need a bucket full of snow? Yeah, why does he no need idea. snow? I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> Sometimes a snow I bath? wonder if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Maybe Can he wants snow cones. I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Mm. Only Bernard knows his identity. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Ooh. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. Mm. Andrew seems suspicious as hell. Is that door open? Hmm. Mr. Spade? Yeah, just go on in there. Mr. Spade? Oh, he's got a lot of film. And he made the bathroom like a temporary, uh, I forgot what that's called, where you can develop the film in there. of me tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences <gasps> wait wait is that me smelling somebody's perfume 
What is this? Is that me, though? Maybe I'll throw away some of these. <laughs> if that's me, I don't want them there. See, that, that could just be me putting them back, you know. Putting the, per putting the perfume back. Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? It looks like he's like... Out? He took pictures of me. I... I, don't know. I found them hanging over the bathtub. He said it looks like he's of kind of like investigating, room. not that he's of you? stalking. Doing what? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky, and. Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea! But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff! But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing... Yeah. Those pictures would put a big red target on your back. I could always throw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah, I modeled for a while. Anyway, wow, Beth. what I'm getting at is those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. Right. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything, there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination, then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Hmm. Give me a minute. Oh my gosh. Merde. Those idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. Oh yeah, gosh, so, so we gotta find this code. Time. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. I trust Beth. Um, the beauty of the Clarington achievement. I chose Beth as my acolyte. Okay. You're mm. pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? A victory medal from World War II? That's rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? I understand your situation and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualifications for the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would ask you not to contact me anymore. It says Mr. Morgan, but... Isn't his name Mr. Spade? 
Hey weirdo, stop wasting my time. I'm not hiring you ever. Mr. Morgan, I know you have a lot of respect for what you and others have done for this country, but I am not a charity. If I don't receive the past three months rent before the end of the week, you'll have to vacate the apartment. Thank you. Mm. Like I should close the store. I don't know why. Is this it? I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. Do not forget to buy more film. Annie left his key. Is this a trap? I can just say I was cleaning his room. I should bring that back to my cart. Hmm. Let's just clean it. You know what? Maybe he'll be grateful. Maybe. Throw those away. We are just all up in this person's room. Um, okay, okay. Picture. 99th Infantry Division, Belgium in 1944. Birds of North America. Mm. Oh. He's solving a murder or something? What the hell? T30. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closer to the hotel. Is this from Harry's? I mean, it's a popular spot, but... Hmm. I just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? The lake. What in the world? The lake? That's where I took mom's kitty in last month. Why is this up here? was the sale where I found that winter jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? What the f Maybe he is obsessed. I hope you aren't eating those beans. He's fine. Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Yeah. You have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Weird. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? Oh, Lindsay's address and then the 99th Infantry Division, the year of the hospital discharge. Is that like part of my code? Okay, so two was 99. Turn that shit off. Now, what do we have here? Fuck it, we're taking that. Some binoculars. Do not forget to take your pills. I gotta hurry. I feel like this guy's gonna be coming in here any moment. A Bible? Wow. Good for you. That's good. Okay, I think uh, we've gotten pretty much everything in this room. What is this? And they were roommates. She was alone in a town she barely knew, hundreds of miles away from home. She was desperate for comfort and found it in the arms of the most unexpected person. Oh my lord. <laughs> He wants our love to be like that. Yeah, open it up, shit. Might as well. Hmm. 
Okay, so... You spent ten years in a psychiatric hospital. Ten now years? Like you left with a long list of diagnoses. Okay, so it's got our date of discharge there. Close that. Do I need to lock it too? No. Place the key. It's like I was never here. What did this say? Lindsay's address. 34 maybe? All right, let's see if we can crack this. It's so sensitive. Yes. All right. Oh, he's got a gun in here? What What are you trying to do? Um, I mean, I can't really inspect those. I can see them, but you know. M and H. M and H. Who are they? Are they guests here? Maybe that's like the VIP people on the top floor. Arrived at the hotel, room's not ready, had to wait in the lobby. They came in, both nicely dressed, and was holding a flower bouquet. Heard them talking to the receptionist, saying how nice the oratory was. Picked up some flyers to find out what they were talking about. Room finally ready, no sign of M or H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. Still no sign of M and H. Had probably gone out again, finished developing this afternoon's pictures. Unable to sleep, heard weird noises from the corridor. No idea who or what it was. You're going to oh, the so trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? I'm just going to read through this to see if there's anything that sticks out. Okay, so they found in the trash, he found a receipt from Harry's Diner with drawings and weird symbols on it. Showed picture of M and H to the waitress. Waitress remembered them, said M used to be a regular about 10 years ago. So right before Mr. Spade got out of, or went into the psychiatric hospital. Okay, so he's not tracking us. That's good. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. Oh, H might have seen him. Maybe that's why he wants to change rooms. Or maybe why he's missing now. They ate at a lounge and left a ticket. The ticket also has the weird symbols, like the Harry's Diner receipt. Um, H looked angry. Something happened during the taxi ride, but what? He hasn't seen them since early afternoon. Tonight we'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. And a gun. Okay. Sophie, you should probably put this down. Yeah, we no. should. Let's uh, close that shit. How do I close the door? I can throw the gun. No, I'm not going to throw it away. Might need it, you know. Okay. What the M hell? And H. Maybe Beth could find them in the logbook. Should we go down to the lobby? I should call reception. M and oh. H could be in danger. I don't think they are. I think this guy like might be a detective. Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Andrew. Andrew. Cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. Sorry about that. So, found anything on Mr. Spade? Well, Mr. Spade isn't even his real name. What? What is it then? Paul Morgan. Ooh, I can see why he changed it. So, did you open the safe? What was in it? Um. A journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Oh, who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names, though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. As well, well though, he's be. not even stalking, it may stalking seem like us. It, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? They're referred to as Mr. H and M. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials, or 
I don't know. Oh. Husband and mistress. Maybe. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. Um. There. I found out that Mr. Morgan I made guess, a request yeah. to be transferred to room 507. But it was denied because... That's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. Hmm. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but... Hmm, would you look at that. There's a couple what? staying in room 509. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector and Marcella. H and oh, M. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Hmm. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. That's my girl. I'll call you if I find anything. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? I will. I promise. Oh, we left our damn keys. I must have forgotten my keys in the break room again. Okay, well, I guess let's go. What is this? Oh, yo yo. I'll leave it. There might be a little kid looking for it. Okay, let's get our keys. Shoot, it's locked. I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Linda usually leaves a master key in the women's locker room. Okay. Locker room. 